sun is shining, spring is here, we're getting little teasers of summer, and ah, I'm craving the aquatic fragrances. Whether it be traveling and you want to feel more fresh, or if you have a day job that you want to know what you can wear during the day, or anywhere where you're around people and you want to be fresh, clean, not imposing, these are the best, most versatile fragrances. I have the best ones for you, for men and women. First up, I have by Orientica, the luxury collection, a brand new release. They have Azure Fantasy. If you look at this box, I believe this box is different than the others in this collection, which I happen to love. Look at this. Does that look gorgeous? It's like a Tiffany blue with silver. And if we get close up, you can see this like opal kind of pearly nameplate that I just think is gorgeous. This one opens with lemon or bergamot and mint and a little zing of ginger. I've been wearing this for two days. I did just receive it, so I'm still kind of playing with it and figuring it out. I did spray it on a guy's skin also to just see if it pulled differently. For me, this one dries down to watery, fresh white florals, very um, dewy-like, very dewy, fresh, but to me, feminine. So I wanted to see if it was pulling more masculine on men, how it pulled. I definitely got more of that ginger, zing, citrusy kind of feel, although I haven't seen it on men's skin for the deep dry down, so I'm not entirely sure. But for me, it leans a little feminine, and I really like this one. This is a collection um, from Dubai, and you know they're just really good at excellent longevity. I did just get this like literally 24 hours ago, so I'm still figuring it out. But so far I have adequate, I'm gonna say adequate. I'm hoping this gets better, but right now I'm at like six hours, I'm gonna say expect, or at least for me to smell it. It probably lasts longer for other people. And I did hear it smelled good in the room and I didn't think it was projecting that much. It was only sprayed on my arm. But I'm really liking this. I'll tell you more about it, but I really like this. Fresh zing. I saw somebody compare it to, what is it, Oud, Lemon, Mint, something by Mensara. I didn't get that at all. Not at all. There is in the base ambergris giving a little bit of that sea air kind of feel and Gayak wood. There's no Oud in here, and I definitely don't get that kind of woody pull. But I'm loving the Azure Fantasy. Definitely amazing for spring and summer. Then we have one of my favorites by Soradora is Gladiator. I don't hear enough people talk about this one and I don't understand why because for men, this is my absolute favorite, favorite from Soradora. And as men's fragrances, this is definitely a top contender for me. When I have to give a fragrance to men, this is one of them that I choose because especially now, like I've been waiting for spring because spring summer is when this one really shines. Oh my gosh. It opens with apple and pineapple that gives it this, um, I know you're gonna think Aventus. It doesn't smell like Aventus, but it opens with this phenomenal fruity opening and the sweetness of that pineapple and the tartness of the apple is just so good and then it dries down and you just get this beautiful citrus aromatic masculine kind of feel, really living up to the name Gladiator. You get a little bit of coumarin in there that gives a little bit of depth and spice to it. There's geranium, which is to me a very classic male uh, masculine kind of floral. You smell like a million bucks when you wear this. <laughs> like you're, I sprayed this on somebody in the studio and he just smelled so good. I was like, can I just, stand next to you for a little bit because you smell good. It's just, I love this one. There's a little bit of vetiver in the base too and some woodiness that really kind of richens it up, but it keeps that citrus aromatic, but a little bit of sweetness to it kind of contrasts that. I just think this one's so good. I always think of Leo DiCaprio in The Wolf of Wall Street during his heyday. There's something about this fragrance that just screams being on a yacht and him in his glory days smelling like a million bucks. I just think this one's amazing. 
I feel like I'm kind of coordinated to all these perfumes, like I match. Like there's a little bit of consciousness to that, but not really to the magnitude that I pulled it off, just so you know. Marbella by Carner Barcelona. You've heard me talk about this one. It is definitely a ride or die for me. Whenever I travel, especially long haul travel where I know I'm gonna feel a little grungy like, this is my pick me up because it makes me feel not just fresh and clean, but pretty and it's light because the last thing I want when I don't feel very fresh is something heavy, right? It just makes me feel gross. This one just freshens me up and it's light. It's got this fruity, floral, aquatic kind of feel to it. You know I love black currant. There's black currant in here and there's peach in here and there's some pink florals like rose and peony that give it this fruity floral feel and also very aquatic. This is part of their Mediterranean collection, all these gorgeous blue glass bottles. I really like all of them. I think there's three. Love them all. I think Marbella is my favorite. Yeah, I think it's my favorite. I just, I've gone through so many bottles of this. There's not a lot of fragrances I have where I can say I burned through bottles on my own accord, not from my store. And this is one of them because it really is a ride or die. And I've gone through a few of the travel sizes because I like traveling with them. I really like Marbella. Oh, yes. If you're a fan of Joe Malone, wood, sage, and sea salt, forget it. I personally find that one way overpriced for what you're getting. And the longevity is like a half hour. I just could never justify it. However, what I can justify is Teodos Calatini's. Asian salt and citrus. Same kind of light, almost like after bath splash kind of lightness. Almost like you just, you were at the beach all day and you have a little bit of that saltiness on you. And now you have this nice citrusy, fresh, clean kind of feel to you. There is grapefruit and lemon in here, I believe, but yeah, a lot of lemon and grapefruit. And then it, it dries down to like you were at the beach and you have this salty skin kind of feel. I find this one so refreshing and so much better than the Joe Malone, which is really popular. And I don't understand why, because I find it so overpriced. Go with this one, Calatini's. Ooh, I really like this. Some of these are newer to me, so I wanted to make sure I had a strip with the deep dry down that was dry for at least an hour that I could remind myself or compare or truly watch that progress because yeah, a couple of these are a bit newer and I wanna make sure I get a really good cross play like my skin, paper, someone else's skin. Gio Lerome, this is Zafiro. This is the Sapphire. Now I think I talked about the Ruby, which is, is my favorite still. I really like this one for summer and on men. The Sapphire one, Zafiro is, wow. I don't know what gives it, but there's definitely an aquatic kind of feel to this one. A little bit of watery florals in here. It's the coriander giving this very slight little kind of spicy aspect while also in this musky aquatic kind of feel to it. This is a really clean daytime, sunny day kind of fragrance for men. There's patchouli in here, but I don't ever see this really go in, into like a, a deep kind of fragrance. It stays light, fresh, aquatic, gives you a little bit of aromatic or spice. That's the only contrast you're gonna get. And even that's delicate that I think a woman could wear this as well. I've worn this personally. I don't find it like date night for a girl, but you can definitely wear this in the heat. So Zafiro by Gio de Rome. This is in my store too. You can get samples of this 10 ml in the full size bottle. I just love these blue glass bottles. Can you tell? I love them. I think they look so gorgeous. This one is like two years old, I think. BDK's Salle d'Argent, which is Dargent, I don't know what that means, but I think it's like sea salt. It's salt of the sea, I think, maybe. I could be wrong. You know, French isn't my first language or third. This one, kind of similar to the Teodos Calatini's Asian salt and citrus. Pretty similar. In fact, I had to pick up that strip and compare them side by side. This one goes a little bit like pepperier, kind of, uh, which is interesting because I don't even think that's listed in here. I think it's just peppery florals. It opens more citrus, sea salt. You get, um, I think like orange blossom, which really lends to that 
aquatic kind of feel, interestingly, very fresh citrusy feel, but dries down definitely gets a little bit of this um, spice to it. A little, very tiny, more richness, but you know what? I would say the Teodoros Calatinis is a great substitution for this. That's only $55 versus like 250. Big difference, 50 ml versus 100 ml granted, but still $55. Um, this is one that I have worn in the summer too. It probably leans a little bit masculine, but I can wear this when I'm at the beach or have been at the beach and haven't showered yet and I spritz this on, I feel really fresh and clean. I feel like the Teodoros Calatinis is a little more unisex, where this one, that little bit of spice you're getting in here, leans it a little bit masculine, just a little bit. Not quite as bad as Citrus Riviera they have, which is the other one in this collection. But yeah, I find this one really good. I threw an affordable one in here for you guys. I got this at a discounter. This was, I'm gonna say under $50, this one. And it's Blue by Bulgari, uh, Blue Pour Homme. This one is again, a really nice aquatic, but it definitely goes more aromatic than the others. It's really interesting because it's not, it's not as aquatic as some of the others, yet there's something about it that really feels aquatic in here, very wet feeling, this fragrance. There's a little bit of tobacco leaf in here. It opens with cardamom and sandalwood, and I feel like it's very vibrant though. It's not citrus in here, but it definitely gives this vibrance probably just coming from the cardamom. It's the ginger giving it that vibrancy. Ginger giving this zing, juniper giving this um, fresh, clean kind of feel, Juniper. I, I like this one, especially for the price. I was really surprised. I saw Tammy from Tammy Loves Fragrances feature this and I was like, wow, that sounds really good. I think I'm gonna pick that up. I don't think the longevity is that great, but for the pricing, I think it's great and you can just keep spraying this one. I think I like some of the others better, truth be told, but I do think this is a steal for the price. The Blue Pour Homme. This one's definitely masculine and it's another one that doesn't get a lot of attention that I love. Again by Calatinis and it's Sea God. I love this one. Definitely masculine. Um, this one, I believe the inspiration was the Greek God Poseidon. And that's literally how this feels is Poseidon. Like definitely get a more oceanic kind of big wave here. Like there's energy in this one. There are some woody notes in here that really richen it up and give it depth. This one has more depth than the others while really keeping that aquatic feel. Opens with citrus like most of them, but it's that rich woodiness in here, almost like you've got this teak boat that is riding a big, massive, energetic wave that's like 30 feet high. It's just wow. It's like you can feel the force in this, like there's strength in this fragrance. Something very like burly masculine about this fragrance. Like a guy that was fishing all day, showered off and is now going up on deck and gonna like start cooking the fish that he caught. There's something very aquatic and masculine about this one that I really like. Very intense, but so, wow, I like this one. And no one talks about it. Oh my gosh, why? Probably because I listen to more women, I don't know. But highly recommend this one for your guy or something, especially for the spring and summer. Sea God is amazing. Let's go for something a little softer side of the guy. And that is, and I'm not gonna lie, I got this because of Michelle, a curly fragrance. I was like, ooh, she likes powdery fragrances on a guy too. So let me pick this one up. It's a great designer if you're into that like I am on a man. I love a good powdery fragrance on him. This one, keeps that blue and that woody powderiness in such a really nice, um, more like cuddle time after he's been like a great, you know, masculine manly man all day. I like this one for him. Narciso Rodriguez for him, Blue Noir. Opens more fresh and you get that more aquatic feel, but then the dry down is a more gentle kind of woody, powdery kind of fragrance. It definitely keeps that aquaticness. So it kind of like plays on you because there's something soft, gentle, evening-like about it more. There's something more romantic about this if you ask me, but chill. There's something more relaxed about this fragrance. Um, 
almost like nice casual, like a casual date kind of feel to it. There's a little bit of creamy sandalwood, just a touch of leather that is barely detectable, but gives it a little bit of masculinity to it. There's also creamy tonka, some powdery iris, that creamy sandalwood that really gives it that almost Prada La Homme kind of feel, but on the water with this aquatic feel to it. Yeah, really. If you like Prada La Homme, you might like this one for the summertime, I think. But yeah, Narciso Blue Noir. Then I have another new release for you. Last year, there was Raja Parfum's Isola Blue, which actually was a rebranding from the awkward name Oligarch with awkward timing. When he came out with that, he rebranded it in packaging that I much prefer, which is this gorgeous blue that, again, matches my blouse because I tried. And the new Isola Soul with this gorgeous like sunflower sunburst kind of cap in these yellow Swarovski crystals. A lot of similarities and some profound differences. Now I sprayed it on paper, but I've worn them both and I feel like they're a lot more different on my skin than they are on the paper. On the paper, I see how similar they are. On my skin, they're profoundly different. I find Isola Blue to lean a little bit masculine Isola Soul to lean a little bit feminine. I'm picking straws here. Like they're both pretty unisex, but with the yellow florals in here, more a Lang and Lang pulls here. And on here, I get this citrusy aquatic kind of feel on here. That there's something about it that pulls masculine. They both have that coconut in there that gives it this creaminess. I feel like this pulls a little more of the coconut. You know, on a gorgeous, hot summer day, when you see that mirage in the air, you see the squiggle lines in front of you. I don't know what creates it, but you get that wave. And this gives me that feeling of like those heat waves, waves like from the horizon where it's almost like the heat coming from the earth, that mirage feel. The soul in here, it really gives that solar feel without going which I hate, disgusting like chemical sunscreen feel. Whenever I see solar notes, I cringe and say, I'm probably not gonna like that because I don't like sunscreen. And I'm always leery because it might put that chemical in there that does that. This does not have that. It's really strong, a lang lang a yellow florals, more in tuned with a fresher version of Fragrance Du Bois Oujuan Intense in their color collection, which is basically the color yellow and they use the yellow florals. Really heavy yellow florals like that is what I get. Uh, creamy, silky kind of florals in there. Man, I like this. Um, but definitely get that warm solar kind of feel from it. Whereas this one, I get more of this Mediterranean sea influence with a strong overlap in here. They are flankers, so I do get a lot of over, overlap in here. Um, gosh, I don't even know which one I like better. Um, they're both amazing. I feel like this one's easier for me to wear because it just seems to lend to feminine skin a little better. But I have to, maybe it's the blue that I'm so drawn to in here that I really like the Isola Blue. Isola Blue I fell hard for, um, but I do feel like this does better on men's skin, the Isola Blue. I just find it so stunning on a man. So I don't know, maybe a tie isn't hers. So there were a lot of masculine fragrances in there. Um, I think all of them a man could wear. Women can wear like half of them, but I do think it's a profile that just really lends to men really nicely. Gosh, I love those fragrances. What are some of your favorite aquatic fragrances now that it's getting nice out? We're kind of pulling out these fresher fragrances. What are some of your favorites? Because I really want to hear what they are. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.